Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing your December 2020 predictions. Who else is excited that 2020 is going to be over? I am. I always like a fresh start anyway. Whatever happens in the year, I'm always happy for a fresh start. It's, it feels good. So, <laughs> so let's get started with your reading. The first group we have is the Selenite Tower. Group two is the Pink Opal Tower. And group three is the Small Caribbean Calcite Tower. So please choose your group now. All the timestamps are down below in the description box and in the comment section. Please choose your group and let's get started. So start off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So let's get your cards. We have them right here. We have the gorgeous Selenite Tower. I love Selenite. It's absolutely one of my absolute favorite crystals. I'm obsessed with it. It's so, so beautiful. Very good for highly sensitive people who want to create more kind of tranquil tranquility in their life, more calmness. But also it's really good if, just for anybody really, but also it's really good if you want to channel or if you want to kind of connect more with your spirit guides. It's just a really overall good crystal. So let's start off with your oracle cards. I have selenite on my hands. <laughs> this is why we don't put it in water because it kind of disintegrates a little bit. Okay, so we have dignity. That's a very interesting card. Okay, I might clarify that. Actually, I feel like we need a little bit of clarification on that. Let's get one more from this deck. Let's see. Whoops. This, these two? Yeah. Let's have two. Let's have two. Okay, underneath we have persistence. It is in the reverse. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting, interesting. Wisdom and innocence. Oh, girl, there's some interesting energies going on here. Okay, so let's see what astrology cards we have. I feel like these cards go really well with the flowers. <laughs> they look really pretty. We have Mercury, Mind, Venus, Love. Oh, girl. Girl, she got some love energy going on. Yes. Oh, this is interesting. This is very much, very, very similar to Selenite. Very, very similar. I love calcite. It's one of my faves. Very good. And Apophyllite. Literally, Apophyllite and calcite are pretty much a combination. Like, put these two together, you get Selenite, basically. So, connect third eye and crown chakra. Beautiful. And calcite is all chakras. I love the fact that we have all the kind of white crystals going on. You guys are really connected to white crystals at the moment. So, if you are really connected to them, that's a really good sign. Sorry, guys. Just had a little burp. That's clarification. I can't fit these in, in shots. So, I'm going to talk about these ones first. So... The fact that we have apophyllite and calcite, I mean, apophyllite is, I always say, is basically, it's clear quartz on speed, pretty much. Apophyllite, one of my fave crystals, I say it's for all my crystals because they're all my babies, but I love apophyllite. It is so gorgeous. It literally does look like clear quartz, and some people think it's clear quartz. It can have a little bit of like a darker sheen in there because sometimes it can be mixed with other crystals, like pretty much any crystal. Whenever you get it, it's obviously in nature, so it's going to look very different in wherever you get it. But we have two crystals of a white color. So you guys are really cleansing. You are purifying a lot of old energy. You're focusing on more of the happy energy around you. You're focusing more of the happiness. This is also getting you to focus more on the happiness. So if you are becoming really unsettled with what's going on, your energy is being jarred, you will also, <coughs> excuse me, you will also be ascending and rising and basically just your energy will be changing. So don't be surprised if you do feel a bit jarred by this energy. This is all normal and it's all very new. So we are kind of going into unknown territory. We're going into a place that we possibly haven't been to before and it can be really super uncomfortable. So what I would say to you is to meditate. That will really, really help you. I know a lot of you guys watching that you haven't meditated for a while. I can really feel like some of you guys are like looking away from the video or the camera. Like I've, I'm looking at the energy that's kind of in front of me and I'm seeing somebody looking at me and they're looking away. They're kind of like, I don't know, I have, I have meditated. Like, yep, and it's like, I, I don't believe you, girl. I don't believe you, but no, it's fine. Like, if you can't meditate or you feel felt too tired or you actually don't want to, that is totally fine. You do not have to meditate. This is just, you know, a suggestion because at the end of the day, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Please don't force yourself to meditate because the last thing you want to do is force yourself into something that should be relaxing and should be fun. And at the end of the day, sometimes, it, I mean, it isn't fun at the start a lot of the time because at the end of the day, a lot of the time we start meditation when we're stressed or we're intrigued. So, and sometimes it can take a while to get into it. And I am thinking of doing a meditation video on like how to meditate for those of you who are beginners. So if you are interested in that, please comment down below and like that comment if you are guys are interested, because I am thinking about doing that because I know how hard meditation can be when you first start doing it. It can be quite difficult. 
And it isn't difficult to meditate, by the way, guys. I know this is a very long-winded conversation, but I wanted to explain. <laughs> So I do feel you guys are really reaching new heights. You are definitely downloading a lot of messages, especially those of you who are very highly sensitive, who are extremely intuitive, like your intuition is like right at the forefront. Um, obviously everyone is intuitive in their own way, but for those of you who are super intuitive, who like really tune into pretty much any energy very quickly, I do feel as if you're gonna get a lot of messages this month. It's gonna be very interesting. A lot of like ethereal, and almost intergalactic energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are star seeds as well and you really connect to that energy. Okay, so this is an energy of like peace of mind. I'm hearing peace of mind and we do have, I mean, we have that calmness energy and we have the mind. So we do have the number three twice. So we have Mercury mind number three and we also have Poth light number three. So that's really, really interesting. And then we have the number four and we have eight. So there's a lot of like synchronicity in our, around numbers. So if you guys are getting a lot of synch synchronicities around numbers, that's gonna be a big sign for you guys. And uh, number eight is about tranquility. It is about kind of getting into balance. Four, very similar. It's more about stability. And the three is about the mind, it's about creativity, it's about communication. I feel as if you guys are really wanting to communicate to a loved one about something that's been bothering you. And it could be you both have quite different views on something and I would not be surprised if it's about what's going on in the world right now. And the best advice I can give you is to accept everyone's views because at the end of the day, if we start clashing, that is what the people up above want us to do. You know, they want us to clash, they want divide. We have to come into acceptance of you think like that, I think like this. And sometimes that means you can't be around some people, but that's okay. At the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. And if you if you can't be around somebody who's very intense or in, t in terms of like angry or opposing, you know, that's okay. Not everyone is ready to receive. Not everyone's ready to receive love. So at the end of the day, everyone's on their different path. So I do feel as if you guys, some of you guys are very young. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are teenagers who are watching this pile. If you're not, that's totally fine. I just feel like a lot of you guys are learning something new that could be crossing against your beliefs on something. So I feel like in December, you're really gonna be in two minds about something. And then after a while, they're gonna kind of collide and you're gonna be like, oh, I get it, you know? So give yourself a lot of love. You're gonna be really realizing a lot of things this month. I feel like for those of you who are very, I feel like a lot of you guys are very wise. I feel like you're very mature for your age, but you are also just very mature, whatever age you are. I feel like you're very wise. You are an old soul. A lot of you guys are Starseeds, but a lot of you guys are old souls or both together. It's just a name, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but also with Mercury in the mind, I feel like you guys are really thinking about love. I think love is very much on your mind. You really want a partner. So I feel like you guys are the first ones to watch my love readings, which I love guys. I love anything to do with love. I'm all, all for it. So hi. Um, <laughs> so I do feel like that's really, really interesting. I want to get clarification on this one card because anything about love, I'm all over it. So let me get a tarot card and let's just see where you guys are about this thing. It might be somebody on your mind. You're kind of thinking about talking to them or there could be somebody who actually talks to you who you're very interested in, or it could be a message from somebody who you really like. Okay, so we have Spirit of Rings, Productivity and Endurance. Okay, so for you guys, some of you guys who are single, I feel like you're really feeling a little bit uncomfortable. You're kind of feeling like, I don't know um, how to feel about my love life right now. Things have been feeling really difficult. So I do feel, it could be for those of you in relationships as well, could be feeling really difficult. But I do feel as if there's something on the horizon coming towards you. I definitely, yeah, we've got the lovers. <laughs> there is definitely some sort of alignment happening. A lot of you guys are gonna get into relationships next year. And I will be doing a love reading on 2021. So have a look at that when that comes out. I do feel like that's gonna be really good for you guys. We also have culmination, satisfaction. There we go, 10 of rings, perfect. So you guys could be meeting somebody at work. There could be somebody you're very interested in who kind of comes into your energy. It may not be this month, it may be next year, but I do feel like there's definitely a gorgeous energy of two things coming together. So keep going guys, keep going. Um, but yeah, this is really lovely. I love the fact that we have daisies. I love daisies, they're a really lovely um, flower. They're very light, they're very delicate, very much like where we have innocence here. I feel like you guys are really needing to come back to your childhood energy. Like anything that makes you feel safe, friggin' go for it, girl, okay? I'm also seeing like a pumpkin. I don't know why this kind of little um, hieroglyphics kind of looks like a pumpkin. So I don't know why some of you guys may be born in Halloween. Some of you guys may have had like a really good Halloween or a very interesting Halloween um, that kind of didn't really kind of go very well. But I do feel like you guys are really 
um, spreading your wings and you're starting to realize more about yourself as well. You're starting to see the hidden elements to your personality as well, which is really nice. Okay, so let's have a look at your dice. Let's get some astrology dice and some tarot. See what wants to come through for my lovely group number one. Let's see. Okay, group number one, please. All right, we have the Cancerian, ninth house, and we have Saturn. Okay, very interesting. Let's get some tarot. Actually, let's get some get a couple of uh, animal cards first and then we're gonna have a look into the tarot do a couple of tarot and a couple of animal cards so let's see where you are right now I feel like a lot of you guys I know this is kind of like normal thinking but I do feel like a lot of you guys are really interested in starting a new you're really excited in starting fresh and doing something that really excites you just you want to start something new I feel like a lot of you guys aren't really looking forward to Christmas but that's okay it doesn't it is another day guys and it will get better okay right so Yes, you guys are really going deep into something. You're really realizing things that possibly you never realized before about yourself or about the world or, you know, about something that just was very uncertain. And now you're going to start to get a little bit more clarity on it. I do feel as if you're going to really start something new. I do see like a brand new start happening. We've got the Eight of Cups, perfect new direction, walking away. Exactly. That's exactly what I was feeling. You guys are basically being awo being awakened to people that aren't on your wavelength. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have to end some old relationships that just really aren't on your wavelength. But this has been going on for quite a few months, maybe even years. And if you can let these people go that don't serve you and they're not good for you, then that's really good. Some of you guys may have already done this and that's absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's see what else. I want those two. All right, underneath the deck. We have the Ten of Rings again, perfect. You guys are really coming into your own. You are really being drawn to love and things that you enjoy and things that are really on your wavelength. I'm hearing on your wavelength, not on anyone else's. And I do feel as if there's an energy of like expansion. I mean, we do have the ninth house here. So you guys are really expanding. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. You're tuning more into your heart space and you're looking into things that are just more on your own energy. Curiosity and discovery. We have two pages, we have the page of swords and the page of cups which is perfect, spirit of rings, productivity and endurance again, and then lovers, perfect. So you guys really need these two cards because they've come out twice already. So that's really good, that's really good. And I did shuffle. So I feel as if there's definitely a newness around love. That's what I'm really getting. I feel like you guys, okay, there's definitely an energy of needing to be eager and endure, which I'm pretty sure we had endurance. Oh, persistence, we have persistence in the reverse. A lot of you guys are struggling to be persistent with your own energy around other people. Um, trying to figure out who you are in relationships with other people, friends, family, anything like that. If you start to feel like you're not being your authentic self, I do suggest walking away if you can, because I do feel, obviously, do whatever you need to do. But it's definitely energy of like culminating your own life and figuring out what makes you feel safe. And some people really aren't a part of that anymore. And then when you do release them, you aren't trapped anymore. And you don't feel trapped and you feel free. And this is the energy you're going towards. This is where you're at now. This is where you're going towards. This is a very nice, new, newborn, really light innocent energy and you're really coming into that which is super super good and i love that and i love this energy this is gorgeous reflection around communication reflect reflection around yourself and you're rediscovering something new and it's definitely more about who you are this is definitely spanning more around into next year i do feel this can be up to march time for some of you guys not for everyone but i do feel like after this there is the dawning there is like a new day there is like a new energy coming in which is a beautiful so i do feel like also i do see new friends coming in i do see a new community which is really really nice so Look forward to that, guys. You are going into new territories. You can see them going into this little this little um, door here, which is really beautiful. And they're going into new territory, which is lovely. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys who chose the pink opal. I love this crystal, it feels so good. <laughs> it's got a really lovely light energy. I feel like this, this feels like newness in love. That's kind of what I'm picking up on just by holding it. I can tell there's something new around the way you see your feminine energy, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. I mean, we all have masculine and feminine energy. 
there's definitely an energy around your femininity and how you're expressing it. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are buying like new beauty products, anything to do with Venus around like beauty products and hair and skin and your home and just all those lovely things. So that's amazing. Right, let's have a look at your cards. So we have prosperity, beautiful. I love that. That's a gorgeous energy. We then have Capricorn, I use, perfect. We have Jade, Heart Chakra, and we have Carusite, Travel. Okay, this is lovely. Ooh, lots of different energies here. There's definitely an energy of grounding yourself. I do feel like you're really manifesting stability in love. I love Jade. Jade is like a really, really nice, wholehearted energy around love. It's like a really, like you know something good's coming when Jade comes in. Because I've used Jade a lot. I've used these cards for quite a long time since I've been doing readings. And whenever Jade comes out, you just know that something yummy is coming. <laughs> something yummy is coming. And it's interesting that we have this purple kind of here. I do feel like we have number 22. So there's definitely an energy around balance, yin and yang, you know, Libra is that energy of the scales. So I do feel as if that's kind of coming in really nicely. I do feel need to pull you one of these cards. Oops, he dropped it. One of these cards for you guys. I didn't do this for group number one, but I really feel drawn to do it for you guys. Oops, not coming out. Okay, let's get you one of these cards. These are the Affirmators deck, which is about love and relationships. I feel like I need to kind of use this. So let's see, let's get you one more card and then we'll see what's going on with you guys. And group number two with December, please. Group number two for December, please. I knew this one was going to come out. <laughs> that popped out. We also have commitment. Okay. It says, I willingly accept that it's safe to topple my walls and commit completely to a relationship. It might be one that's already here or one that's on the way. Either way, those walls have got to go. Without them, I can go no further. Without, sorry, without them, I can go further, feel freer and love bigger than ever before. Bonus, no walls means I'll save a lot of money on picture frames. The, com the comedy in these cards is so weird, <laughs> but quite funny. Okay, so this is the main card we have. It says, I am reliable. Oh, I love this. I am reliable. When I say I'll do something, I'll take whatever that comes. Okay, I'm going to, I can't read. Sorry, guys, it's like really late at night right now. I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may have seemed small and insignificant to a less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just for dandruff commercials and cereal factories. Okay, so I do feel as if you guys are really shifting in the way you are interacting just in daily life, but also in your commitment to your relationships. I feel as if there's definitely energy around I'm going to really start thinking differently and the way I turn up to things, I'm going to start to be more reliable. You could be also really realizing that your reliability is just super important, like turning up on time to things, even if it's like a Skype call or a Zoom call, that is really important to you and it can feel really good when you're on time to something, it can feel really good. And something personally that helped me was to look at the psychology of why possibly you can't be on time to something or why something isn't working out, just looking into the the deeper reason as to what that is, it can be very, very interesting. So this aside, I do feel as if there's a massive energy around looking at things differently. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are talking to somebody abroad. I do feel as if there could be a meeting of some sort. Um, it could be, I mean, I don't know what travel is like at the moment. It's probably not that great, but if you guys are possibly talking to somebody online, I wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody that comes along. I do feel that's really good. It's my candle wonky. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I do feel as if there's an energy around using every single part of you to push you forward. So I do feel old parts of you have really kind of gone away now and you're now using your you're now using your own personality without all the ego on top i feel like you've you've really released a lot of old energy around your ego and there's definitely some nice new energy coming in in the month of december and i feel like it's going to start to feel a bit more clear around the end of december when we have this conjunction pretty sure it's between jupiter and saturn forgive me if i'm wrong um but there is definitely energy around calmness and i do feel like a lot of you guys are going to be traveling or planning to travel um, in the future. You're kind of possibly make some mood boards, 
make maybe travel lists or packing lists or anything like that that makes you feel very excited for that. I do feel you could be talking a lot about travel to somebody, but I do feel as if there could be some sort of practical collaboration abroad or just a practical collaboration with somebody in your country who you really like their style of work, you really like their personality. You know, it could even be a friendship that forms with a Capricorn, you know, something like that. It's definitely something that's practical. It's something that's earthy. It feels like you are meant to do this. It's like it's meant to line up. And it does feel like you are using every element you have in your work to go forward with this. I do feel like there's a lot of energy around work and how you're using it to your best potential. I just, it feels really good. I really, really like this. So, okay, so let's have a look at your other cards. This feels really nice. I do like the groundedness of this, this card too. This is about your root and your crown. So that's a really nice energy around just getting grounded, but also connecting to spirit guides and allowing them to just like you're allowing this, um, yourself to trust your spirit guys. I just really love this kind of um, coloring. This is really pretty. And this all could also be smoky quartz. If you guys are interested in a custom piece by me, I can get that in smoky quartz as well. And that'd be really lovely. Even just to ground you, smoky quartz is just a lovely grounding crystal. So let's have a look and see what else is coming towards you guys. Shaky, shaky, shaky. <coughs> okay sorry guys if you could hear me my coughing was very loud we have leo fourth house and we also have the south node okay so this is very interesting very similar to this reliability card that we had it's very much to do with your home turning up on time feeling safe so i do feel as if you are really kind of um i'm hearing pulling your weight and i don't like that <laughs> i don't feel like it sounds kind of aggressive <clears throat> but I definitely feel like you guys are really coming up to the plate now. I feel like you're really, I'm hearing nipping things in the bud, coming up to the plate. It's like you're really, which is funny because we've got little buds here. Um, you're really kind of um, tying everything together and things are starting to fall into place. And the fact we have the south node is really good because you guys are going to be really releasing a lot of old energy that just no longer serves you. So for you guys, because you have the south node in Leo, it's really about you releasing the ego. It's about you releasing the need to control or conform or anything like that. And to also learn to have more fun. I know obviously there's a lot of dark kind of deep energy going on right now. I also have 4-4 on the clock, which is amazing. Uh, on 4-4, I have 44% on my phone. Um, sorry, not on the clock, but we have number four as well. So it's definitely an energy around stability, reliability and coming together with something. It's like you really are nipping things in the bud and things are going to start to kind of they're working more together it's almost like you're not feeling separate anymore you're starting to feel more together and i do feel with leo being on the north node uh, sorry your south node your north node being aquarius so it's more about you free thinking it's about having strong views about something it's also coming together and being a natural born leader so i do feel as if you are becoming much more assertive with your power, much more assertive with how you're speaking to people. And the way you see your home, it feels more safer. And maybe you may be moving in the month of December or thinking about moving, that you are pretty set on moving. I'm, I'm pretty sure for a lot of you guys, but also could you be planning on moving, especially the fact we have that travel energy. So this is what you're working on right now. So Leo is about the fire energy. And this is what you're working with right now. So you may be releasing a lot of that energy and then going towards the beaver. Perfect. Which is literally the fourth house. So the beaver is the home. It's about feeling safe. It's about coddling and helping your emotions to feel good and comfortable. And the cheetah. So making sure you aren't rushing into things, rushing things, feeling the need to push anything. Because at the end of the day, a lot of things that are outside right now in the world are out of our control. As long as we're working on our own emotions and we feel good with ourselves, that is the best thing we can do. That is what we do have control over. So with the fire ant, this can be about kind of pushing things, forcing things, especially relationships and connections. So make sure if there's something that you feel like you are starting to force, maybe pull away from it, have a little think about it. It could also be that things are just really on top of you right now and you're just feeling really overwhelmed. So if you need to just pull back, be in your own energy. That is the most important thing because everyone is feeling very rattled right now. And a lot of the, and 
most of it is the energy. It's not just about what's going on in the world, it is the energies as well. And they're gonna rattle us because they're new, they're intense, and they are raw. <laughs> Girl, they are raw. So if you are not used to that rawness or you are starting to awaken to a different style of thinking, it's gonna feel very overwhelming. So you need some time for yourself. So make sure if you are in a house with a lot of people, a lot of siblings, a lot of family members, or you just feel like you can't get a break from your thoughts, go out in nature, you know, go out in nature, be away from people, take a break. Um, also, or if you can't do that, listen to some really nice music, listen to some birds singing, listen to um, a podcast or someone talking in your ear. Sometimes that can be really helpful as well. Or just talk to a friend. And then the beaver is about feeling comfortable in your home, feeling safe and building on something. So if you guys, a project might be the answer to kind of get you out of your head as well. Okay, yeah, seven of swords confusion and setbacks that is definitely i think how you're feeling right now but the cheetahs are really nice energy the fire ants can be a little bit aggressive the cheetah i feel like is actually more like an aries energy it's like forward movement but feeling like you know where you're going so i do feel yeah perfect ace of wands there's definitely a confusion but look how quickly you're going into this ace of wands straight away so if you can make sure that your direction of your mind is going towards something like possibly work or investing yourself in a new series of TV or something or talking to a friend. It's like making sure you're being more practical about it. That would really help for a lot of you guys because sometimes it's literally just a distraction that, that we all need sometimes because at the end of the day, if we're thinking too much, most of our things are out of our control. So the more we kind of think about things that are out of our control, it's going to feel more confusing because it's like a lot especially it's to do with relationships. Like if you want a relationship and you're single and you've been single for quite a while, or you just want a connection or you want something that's just out of your control, at the end of the day, it is out of your control. Like you can do everything you can. And as long as you are doing everything you can to help yourself, to make yourself feel good, that is enough, okay? And it's nothing to push or force. At the end of the day, this will happen when it's meant to happen. It's out of your control. The universe has got your back, girl. So if you're meant to meet somebody, if you're meant to do something, it will happen. And that's what I'm feeling. It's like you're the more you focus on your stability and focusing on something that just really suits your energy and flipping your energy. Like if you start to get into a rut, try not to sit in it too much. If it doesn't feel good, if it starts to feel like, oh, I don't know if I can handle this, pull back, go for a walk, walk around your house, Go outside. I just feel like going outside is like really important for you guys. So that's what I'm feeling. Even if it's just out in your garden or on the on the on the road, on, on the path, not literally on the road, <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a realization about something. You guys have the tower, so that's really interesting, and very very nice actually. I love the tower. I think it's really nice because it shakes up your energy. You are going into a new territory, guys. So it can feel a bit uncomfortable, but it's good. This is all good. You want change. We all want change, so it's good. It's good. Okay, I feel like I need to keep repeating. It's good, it's good, it's good. I feel like you need a bit of confirmation. So that's your confirmation right there, okay? So we have the Seven of Swords, King of Wands. Beautiful. There's definitely some energy around, I don't know if I can lead, I don't know if I can lead, I can do this, I can do this, I can lead. You know, it's like building up your confidence. So I do feel as if it's really about your confidence, stepping into your own power, speaking your truth, and also just being in your own lane. Don't compare yourself to other people, guys, because they are they are their own person. And why would you want to be like anyone else? Obviously, you can be inspired by people, but why would you want to be? Why would you want to have their life? Because at the end of the day, your life is amazing. You can make your life as amazing as you can. At the end of the day, that's their life. You know, they already have their stuff sorted, and you want something that suits you and your energy. And that's where you're going. You're going towards something that really suits you, feels really comfortable. It may take a little bit of time to kind of get things in order possibly your ideas or getting other people working together but I do feel like it's something to do with like success and career and your mind more about your mind and like money and things like that and just getting things sorted so organization is really important I do feel like a more practical approach is really good for you guys but and also focusing your energy on something else and directing your focus away from something that's negative or out of your control because at the end of the day worrying doesn't actually help which I know like this is coming from a warrior guys okay and there's a quote that's like turn your warrior into a warrior and that's literally what this is is a king of wands it's like they are warriors you may also meet a, a nice fire sign that really suits your energy who you feel really good to talk to and it may be a really random encounter that may be just like, oh, okay. You may meet them through work or through online or something like that. And it's just like, oh, wow, I didn't expect to meet you, but it feels really good. So that's your reading, guys. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal 
shop. All the information's down below. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and your time. And thank you so much. And I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous little Caribbean cow. So I love him. He is so cute. As I say, all my crystals are available down below. If you want to check out my website, just have a little look. And yeah, let's get started. So let's get your cards. Let's see what the first card is. We have a courage, beautiful. So really going into new environments, kind of chasing new heights. I'm hearing um, there's a song that's called Chasing Chasing Highs. I'm literally gonna look it up right now. Let's have a look and see. So I just looked up the song and it's called Chasing Highs by Alma. So if you guys wanna have a look at that and see if that resonates with you guys, I feel like it's about somebody kind of being in kind of a bad place and then somebody kind of comes in and changes their world. So that's a really nice energy. And I do feel like it's about collaboration. I do see new people coming towards you, which is really nice. Beautiful, 10th house. Oh, I like this, I like it a lot. Okay, we have Nature, Malachite and 22, Kunzai. I love the fact we have 22. I really like that number combination. That's all about balance and duality and the yin and yang and making sure you're not overdoing it with work. I feel like you guys have, could be quite work orientated or you when you do want to work on something you get very fixated on it so make sure if you do need to kind of change your focus a little bit that's really important for you guys okay so i love the energy of this green i do feel like you'll need to connect with nature more bring nature more into your home go out more in nature or just kind of yeah bring more nature into your home and focusing more on the bigger picture and not trying to be too centered on things that you have no control over that's what I feel like it's quite a big message at the moment I feel like in the collective it's really trying to make sure your focus isn't directed on what you have no control over and just focusing coming back to yourself especially if you're empathic and you're really sensitive it can be really hard to keep focusing on yourself because at the end of the day you want to help people and that's beautiful but at the end of the day you can only help people when you are when you are yourself and when you are okay it's kind of like putting the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on anyone else, you know, because you can't help people if you're in a bit of a confused state. I do feel as if the, I'm hearing the tables are turning the clocks, like ticking, but not in a bad way, not as in like you're running out of time. It's like you're coming into a new self. I feel like you are really putting yourself first in terms of your career, in terms of a partnership, in terms of could be work orientated, but could be love orientated. I just feel like you are, you have an, an, enough courage to do something you really want to do. It's something that's your, I'm hearing your generation. So I do feel as if you're coming into a really nice new big energy. Like this is a 10 year cycle I'm hearing. So this could be the 10 year cycle that's kind of ended and now you're starting a new 10 year cycle. So a new, as I say, a new like generation, which is really, really nice. It feels very, very new. It feels like you are very much ready for this new start. And I feel like you guys, it, it feels like you guys have really um, have kind of come away from addictions. So possibly could be, um, I'm hearing, you know, intimacy addiction. It could be, uh, what's the word? It could be alcohol, it could be food. And I'm feeling like coming off of sugar and sugary drinks. I feel like you're kind of coming away from that now and you're needing to ground yourself more, focus on nature, focus on your core values and I do feel like what's going on around the world right now is really helping us to focus on what we're really grateful for which is really nice and it does have its negative effects but at the end of the day it's best to focus on the positive you know so it's really good to keep coming back to yourself and we do have kunzai as well and that is about the children energy so focusing on things that make your heart sore doing things that make you feel comfortable and if, if you struggle to do those right now or it doesn't feel like you can then focus more on the smaller things and what you do have control over have a little spa day by yourself or go for a walk in nature or talk to a friend or talk to a family member that just really gets you and just have a little chat with them or play a game or something like that that just helps you change up your environment a little bit more and the 10th house is all about your career it's about changing up the way people see you and also the 10th house is like a really big energy it's not just like a very it's not a small energy guys it's very big it's about your public image your reputation your long-term goals your the masculine side of you it's also to do with men and fathers and fame and things like that so i do feel like you guys in december you're going to get a lot of recognition and you're you know chasing highs essentially you are going higher up the ladder so it could be in work 
it could be in um, a hobby that you really enjoy you could be discovering something new about that hobby that makes you think wow and like makes you think in a different way something like that I do feel that's really really important for you guys and I do feel like you're seeing things differently it's like I'm hearing just that top that the top <laughs> that clock ticking and kind of going round it's like every step you're taking it's like you're going further and further into something that you just haven't possibly um kind of gone into before or you're just getting a lot more recognition than what you thought you could have you know and I do feel as if you could be really being surrounded by children right now you could be really connected to children you could be doing a children a childhood course you could be doing a course on childhood trauma or childhood you know, it could be a teacher, it could be an art teacher or a counsellor or something to do with children or it could just be you're doing a lot of childhood work. You could be kind of doing some counselling on yourself, you could be going to counselling, you could be uh, really discovering the parts of you that you haven't rediscovered really for a very, very long time. You could be going back to school, you could be... Also, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're rediscovering just like parts of you that were kind of lost or maybe you didn't even have time to look at because maybe you're quite busy you know there's definitely energy of like slowing down and this is good guys like slowing down is good sometimes slowing down is can be very boring but actually it's part when you get past the boredom you're like wow you know there's so much more past that energy because when we're rushing around we can sometimes be in our adrenaline and really not be very focused so and that's really important and also for you those of you who have quite high anxiety what's really really good for you guys is to really look at your diet or look at your vitamins and what you're taking and things like that obviously i say i'm not a health practitioner i'm not qualified you know in that area to give you health advice but if it's, that's something that you know you want to think about then definitely have a look into it i'm also hearing travel sickness as well i'm seeing you guys wearing um those bands that you get that have like a little white pill thing that you can use for travel so if you guys are going on like a boat anytime soon or in a car then I would highly recommend those those wristbands. They're like travel bands. They're really good. I'm just seeing that it could be a lot in your head as well. Like it could be in your head a lot at the moment, uh, but also you could be getting quite a lot of headaches. So just kind of grounding yourself and making sure you're not overdoing it. Because at the end of the day, you know, you can't help yourself if you're feeling down. You need to really be in your own energy and and taking a break is is always good. You know, if you're produ if you can take a break, you can actually be more productive. All right, so let's see what's coming in for you guys. Let me grab my astrology dice. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, I'm also picking up on another song. What's this other song? Okay, oh my God, I'm getting so many songs. Okay, you guys are, could be singers because I'm getting so many songs. You could also just really love singing and music because I'm picking up on, okay, Chasing Pavement by Adele. And there's another one. Uh... The one that goes, I keep going to the river to pray. That one. But it's by Ella Henderson. And I cannot remember the title of it. I can't remember. But that's what I'm picking up on. So <laughs> we have the sun in Leo, which is really nice. Focusing on yourself. Focusing on literally that childlike energy, creativity at home. Because we have the fourth house. So that's really, really nice. And the fourth house is also about your roots, your family, your self-care. And your foundation it's funny because we had that masculine energy before of the 10th house which is you know your father the masculine energies in your life or your masculine energy and the only fourth house is about your mothering energy how you mother yourself so it's definitely a, a balance about how you assert yourself but also how you're taking care of yourself because that's really important that's where your confidence comes from you know you're more you're focusing on you and how you want to interact with the world and how you want to kind of you know face things that are coming towards you it's like that's super important because that's how you're setting boundaries for yourself okay so let's see what else we have here let's see what else is going on for you guys so where are you right now let's see where you are right now they feel like you're really focusing on yourself in the month of december like kind of just the things that really fuel you and i'm hearing you're abandoning things that no longer serve you which is good so that's really nice yeah perfect look at that reaching highs which is perfect coming into the light um i also hear coming uh coming to the light which i think is by bliss i'm pretty sure which is she's a lovely singer she's really 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 talented i highly recommend li listening to her and one of my family members will be very happy with me because she absolutely loves bliss and we also have the moth so this is about looking into the light focusing on the light coming out of the darkness so you guys could have been through going through quite a big deep energy yeah beautiful 
and then transmuting that into something that you feel very passionate about. B, the B energy always reminds me of Virgo. It's very busy. It's very like darting everywhere and kind of getting stuck sometimes because sometimes bees can get stuck in the house. I mean, have you ever seen Bee Movie? You know, they always warn you about the rain and the windows, you know, <laughs> like if you get it into a house and the window's there and you can't get out most likely it's because there's a window there and you can't move so sometimes it's really realizing what the obstacle is and realizing maybe i am going around in circles or you know and, and kind of calming and focusing and i do feel as if it's it's okay to take a break that's what i'm hearing it's okay to take a break you are allowed to take a break you are human you know you are a squidgy being in a squidgy skin suit and you are allowed to take a break we are not robots we are squidgy beings who have feelings basically so it's really important for you to recognize when the, and also if you get like a random feeling of anxiety or feeling scared that is okay and also you, if you're very sensitive especially if you are quite young I do feel like it could be you picking up it from the collective. So make sure to protect yourself by putting a bubble around you, maybe light some candles, saging your uh, energy field, um, getting like an incense stick and like, you know, waving it around your aura. Um, also just being in your own space and also wearing black onyx. Black onyx is perfect for protection. Same like Shungai and uh, black tourmaline, really, really good for protection. So this is your energy right now. You are feeling very, very sensitive, but also really intrigued by new energy. This is kind of almost like a Benjamin Bun kind of deal. It's like you're going back to the baby, baby energy in a good way. You're not going there, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's coming into this really lovely energy of the baby. It's like discovering new things and, and seeing things differently as well, which is really lovely. So let's just clarify these two cards with some tarot. So as I say, this is where you are right now. This is where you're going. Absolutely perfect. You're like going into a new direction and you may also be kind of more awake at night. So you might be doing a little bit of astro traveling or astral traveling, uh, but also you could be dreaming quite intensely. You could be getting some really intense dreams. You could be meeting people in your dreams, you know, things like that. Very, very interesting. Okay, whoops. Oh my God, this really reminds me of Aladdin. I'm hearing magic carpet ride. Some of you guys might be in the in like Broadway or wanting to be in Broadway or on um, on a stage. I just keep getting massive amounts of like actress act acting, like singing, all that jazz. I, I see you meeting new people very soon as well who they're all different. Like you have, you're gonna create this really nice family um, tribe, like a really spiritual tribe. So like your friends, and they're gonna feel like really like you, you know? I see somebody coming towards you who could be a fire sign as well, possibly Leo, Sag or Aries. We have the three of swords, which is upheaval and release. Exactly, you guys are really releasing a lot of things that just aren't on your wavelength anymore, that you just don't resonate with anymore, which is really good because this is clearing you, clearing the way for newness, which is really nice. I love this Wheel of Fortune. This is good. This is all newness. The chariot is forward movement. We do have the Seven of Cups, which is speculation and opportunity. So I do feel like there is an opportunity which you might, you know, speculate about. It may be like, oh, I'm not sure if I should do this. But then you think, no, I can do this. And remember not to compete with others, you know, just being your own energy. Everyone is doing their best and you don't have to be like them. You need to be in your who you are, you know. You are you for a reason. You know, we all have a different personality so we can give something different to this world on our level you know and that's okay so we also have resentment competition exactly i think you're coming away from that and leo leo's can be very competitive sometimes or kind of a little bit jealous so i do feel like you're releasing that energy and because we have the sun in leo you're really recognizing your power and your confidence and you may be asking for more which is really really good it's like you're asking for more of what you can achieve and then the, with the fourth house feeling safe around it I feel I need to pull you one more card before we finish the readings. Let's see what else. Perfect strength. That's literally Leo. That's perfect. So we have gratitude. So I do feel as if you guys are feeling a lot more gratitude for your life. I think you're starting to come into a really calm place, which is nice. Or you could just be getting there. So if you're feeling a little bit confused, you are getting there. We have the card of strength and beauty, which is really nice. Both gorgeous energies. So really using your powers of beauty to really help things get come become attracted to you. So if you're really interested in beauty, I do see this is a sign to begin that and start that journey. 
It could be also to just really invest in yourself and also invest in things that are pretty, you know, buy something for the sake of it because you think it's pretty, you know, like don't feel like you have to get something because, you know, you have to have a reason for it. If you want it, go get it. Like if you have, if you have the finances and, and it's like a sensible decision, then go for it, you know, and also not to judge yourself on every move you're doing. I know obviously that that is kind of hard to do sometimes, but at the end of the day, you're doing it for a reason you're doing because you want to and because it suits you and you have your own mind. If something, if something you really want to do and people are telling you not to do it, don't listen to those people because at the end of the day, they don't know you fully. You know, you know yourself fully and you know exactly what you need to do. So really focusing on that energy and I do feel as if you're starting to see things more clearly. And this kind of reminds me of that like yin yang energy, which is really nice. So I do feel like you guys could be really connected to black and yellow because we do have the bumblebee as well. So look out for bees as synchronicity. So beautiful energy guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading if you'd like to have a private reading with me or check out my crystal shop all the information is down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and a lovely december and i'll speak to you soon much love bye